Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received an Arabian horse as a gift from Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, bred in the Queen's stables. The horse is called Hamdani Ra'ad and is three years old. His Majesty the King expressed his thanks and gratitude to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II for her gift, which reflects Her Majesty's keenness and care of the original Bahraini Arabian horse that is distinguished by its beauty and its purity. His Majesty stressed that this dedication conveys the deep historical ties between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom and the two countries' long history of heritage and culture. His Majesty also expressed his pride in the close historical relations that bind the two royal families in the two friendly countries. The gift was presented to His Majesty by Mrs. Jenny Lee. The meeting was attended by the Ambassador of the United Kingdom to Bahrain, His Excellency Simon Martin, and his wife, as well as a number of guests. His Majesty the King and his guests witnessed a presentation of the Arabian horses belonging to the royal stables, which are characterized by their beauty and quality. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa stressed that Bahrain shares the world's visions and objectives which aim at enhancing and elevating human life everywhere, underlining the firm belief in the viability of collective work to meet ambitious goals for a more prosperous future for humanity. In a keynote message to the world marking World Habitat Day, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister called for more efficient work to achieve the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals which were globally endorsed at the United Nations in September 2016. He also reiterated Bahrain's commitment to cooperate with the United Nations Settlements Programme to achieve sustainable development goals. He said that this year's edition of World Habitat Day is being celebrated under the theme Housing Policies, Affordable Homes, adding that decent housing is incorporated in Bahrain's social and economic development plans and programs. He underlined Bahrain's long-standing adopted policy of building towns and expanding more housing units that meet both present and future needs. He paid tribute to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, stressing Bahrain's dedicated efforts to find housing solutions and developed and sustainable programs that meet the needs of low-income families. He underlined Bahrain's urban stride, stressing the expansion of housing projects and the improvement of residential standards as part of efforts to ensure decent housing to all categories of citizens.
His Royal Highness said that these goals feature in the Government Action Plan, which aims to meet citizens' basic needs through ambitious and multi-phase development programmes. His Royal Highness the Premier highlighted the tangible progress of work on housing projects in Bahrain, stressing viable partnership with the private sector to provide decent housing. He underlined efforts to promote partnership between the public and private sectors to carry various programmes and initiatives, citing the social housing project and other conventional needs. His Royal Highness took pride in Bahrain's urban development stride, which won international recognition being a model for sustainable development, noting that Bahrain was one of the first countries in the region which strove as early as the 1960s to provide housing services in implementation of the constitutional provisions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the existing cooperation between Bahrain and the United Nations, stressing in this regard the cooperation agreement which was signed with the UN Development Programme to update the housing plan so as to keep abreast of national, economic and social shifts. He also hailed the UN Habitat Focus this year on providing adequate decent housing which represents a core issue of the new urban agenda officially adopted in Quito, Ecuador last year, aiming to make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister underscored the importance of providing decent housing, which he said represent a challenge to numerous societies, calling for innovative solutions, viable initiatives and international partnerships to optimise the use of resources. He urged the international community to pay heed to poverty-stricken zones in dire need for assistance to alleviate people's suffering and meet housing, health and educational needs, which will impact positively on global security, stability and peace. His Royal Highness cautioned against mounting global challenges, urging more dedicated efforts to achieve the global development goals and spare humanity potential dangers, and cited the recent alarming UN habitat statistics, which revealed that 1.6 billion people live in insalubrious housing conditions, of whom 1 billion people live in slums and poor neighbourhoods. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister commended the UN Habitat's strenuous efforts to bolster sustainable urban development worldwide through pioneering initiatives that aim to elevate human beings. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, inaugurated the opening of the World Junior Men Women's EP Championships, organised by the Fencing Federation for the second year in a row under the patronage of His Highness and sponsored by Manji Construction and Investment Company with the participation of 26 countries from across the globe. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the great care and interest of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa as well as his support for hosting various sporting events which solidifies Bahrain's position in the world sporting arena in addition to gaining the trust of international federations for its distinguished reputation in organising sports championships. His Highness pointed out that these sports gatherings are an important step in the promotion of the international sports movement as it fulfills the aspirations of the youth in the world of sports to organise such tournaments, gathering them in one place where they compete for the title of the World Championship. His Highness also expressed his pleasure to see players from across the globe at this event, underscoring that players from the Kingdom will demonstrate the high level that Bahraini fencing has reached. His Highness Sheikh Nasser went on to praise the efforts of the Bahrain Fencing Federation to organise the tournament. He also commended the announcement of the Bahraini Italian Academy of Fencing, which is the first of its kind in the Middle East, noting that such an academy will refine the players' skills and even export Bahraini expertise abroad.